Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you search the top 10 most educated presidents in Africa, you will most probably meet the name Dr. William Samoy Ruto because before the 2022 general election, Ruto ensured that he got a doctorate degree. He's a scientist, I think. One would imagine that when a doctor is at the helm of, the, of, of, of a country's affair, then things would go straight. But far from it, things are falling apart from Daktari. If it is not Samson Cheregai revealing to the nation that Murkomen is corrupt to the core and that he is getting bribes from the Chinese government or the Chinese contractors to deny hustlers the very little manual job that they are supposed to do, then it is the president himself contradicting the meteorological department about the El Nino rains and people are now being swept away. And if that is not happening, then we have oil deals that are escalating to the neighboring countries and they are fleeing our country. And ladies and gentlemen, as if that is not enough, a man who has got a doctorate degree is presiding over the deteriorating conditions of our education. How do you compare the standard of education just one year down the line, the level of confidence with those who are in office today manning the education center and those who are there like Professor, the late Professor Magoha? Today, that ministry is a shadow of its former self and the president is killing the dreams of our future leaders, the dreams of our children. I think they have killed my dream. I wanted to go to Mary Hill. Girls, the one in Thika and the marks that I've gotten Adi Haikaribi. I'm very overwhelmed with a lot of sadness and depression due to the results I've gotten. I've never gotten this type of results even since I just joined this school in 2020. Our parents are disappointed because the results that we got do not reflect the abilities of our pupils. We have about 190 pupils who sat for this exam and we were expecting that our marks will be reflective of the entire capability of these students. When you had someone like uh, Dr. Matiangi managing education, I could tell you for a fact that that was a brain managing education. And he did much. Mm. When we had uh, Professor Magoha, he did, you, you could, there was some, some, some bit of confidence that, that yeah, I mean, you know, there's, 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 there's some substance. There's somebody who really knows that where we want to go. And, and, there's a and driver behind the there's, wheel. There's a driver. And, and the driver driving the bus is not driving it using, you know, there's a, there's a way you can drive it using rumors. You know, you, so every often you turn to listen, oh, we do this. You know, you can't do that. <laughs> but <laughs> you have to know this thing and know it properly. <laughs> Okay. You know, you, 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 can't, you can't keep soliciting for rumors, you know, along, and, the, way. And along the way and grapevine and everything. And, and you want to drive us to the destination. You have to know it and know properly. And when you don't know, you might want to retreat somewhere. And park a little bit. And, and, and you know, yeah. yeah. And, and you must be somebody who has the ability that when you park and flip through a page for one or two seconds, then you know it meets some some good um, you know software up here mm. but uh, you can but, interpret the map and but, know where, how where to go I, I don't know i don't know that that is what we want to say about the very many people that have been put in charge of very serious affairs of this republic and it's not funny because i know there are sectors that you cannot lie through there are sectors that propaganda will <coughs> will burn you in January, we will all be here. In, in January, we will all be here. If there is no classroom, there is just no classroom. That's it. You must sit children under a tree. That is what we will be looking at. And because pray, people... it doesn't rain. Even if it rains, they will be under a tree or they go home. There are no two ways about it. And that's what I'm saying, that the, the Ministry of Education really needs to very quickly, and, and not the Ministry of Education, sometimes I know we roast the Ministry of Education so much, but there's very little that um, 
uh, the CS can do about it. The other day he didn't uh, even look me. sure. No, 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 no. I, I am telling you, uh, he didn't no. even look sure that the exam I, was I, going I, to be released on I, that day. I have to ask, what do you mean he is not sure? Do you know what you're saying? That the person who's at the helm yes. of our education system yes. is clueless. He's not at the helm of money. He is not at the helm of money. Yeah. Somebody else is in charge of money. I understand. If he, he does not know, he himself, let me tell you, he himself does not know where the 47% that was supposed to be sent for capitation went. went. He does not know. I wish he knew. He does not know. This issue concerns the president. So, so it concerns the president 100%. So you're saying that we, the person who was put at the helm of our education was put there for his incapacity and for his inability to actually do what he's supposed to do. I know for sure that if he had answers, because I know and he knows and he has seen the struggles that the head teachers are going through. Head teachers are, are, are fullizaing, you know fullizaing. Mm. They are, they are, they are, they are fullizaing to make transactions that belong to the schools. Mm. Head teachers are being sent mm. for peanuts and they are also called again and told, out of those peanuts that we have sent you, send back 5,000 to the Ministry of Education uh. Uh, for sports. Yes. yes. No, but I don't have from which vote read. No, you, you just know where you are, Vila Utapanga. Uh, that is what is happening. Where Jua Vila Utapanga, so he runs all over the place, solicits for so, so to send. Because when he does not send, he's blackmailed. Look at your your friends. Uh, he sent a list. Your you your, your friends have sent. Why are you why are you different? That situation was so dire and delicate that it prompted the Kenya National Examination Council to admit that there's a problem because they have received complaints from very many people. And they convened a crisis meeting to look into this. I don't remember when such a thing happened, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, it was so serious that some of the anomalies that were found were, some of them were awarding wrong marks to the students. That you've done your exam, you attained 400, but you are given 215. Imagine. Or... You have attained 300, but you are given 415. Awarding of, of, of wrong marks. People were dedicated to marking exam. This is uh, the, the future of, of, of someone's child you're joking around with. And then they were assigning grades for subjects students did not do. For example, there are those, uh, the, 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 there's part of the exam for the disabled and, or, or, or people with special needs. You realize that you didn't, maybe you are a person who did not take an exam that involved people with special needs, but you are awarded marks on that and you wonder, how? I didn't even sit for this. There were cases of awarding higher grades for lower scores. Mutu amefanya mtihani, amepata 280. is given 410. And then they were proud releasing this, this, this kind of result. Very shambolic. There is a reason why the former education CS, CS Magoha still held a position at neck and there is a position why they had to part ways with Billy Okipsang because I think he knew where the problem is the problem was ladies and gentlemen if you want to kill the future of a nation you don't need to use missile just wreck the education sector because what the government is doing now is, is, is nondescript because you have seen children there were crying, they are saying that my shayawiya mearibiwa, you've killed my dream. How does a man with a doctorate degree sit and watch a country deteriorating? The other day it was changing the way help is being distributed and the delayed distribution of funds. Really, what is happening? And let me tell you, this is because when he was uh, appointing people into those special offices, 
it was not done on meritocracy it was not done by you know appointing people who have got merit let me give you an example there's a cabinet secretary i think it was Aisha Juma who said admitted that she got was it a d or something in in high school nalijitetea she said she was learning under some tough conditions and that that's why she attained those grades and william ruto himself told us that he's much so much concerned about the cabinet because sometimes when he asks a question from a cabinet secretary then he realizes that he knows much more than the the person who has been appointed to man that docket incompetence he's the one who admitted so he appointed incompetent people when he was uh, uh, marking one year into office there was uh, an opinion poll that was conducted about the grades the grading of 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 the entire cabinet i think it was kithure kendiko the that scored a little bit higher i think the way he was dealing with the passport issues and and the cartels and the the wild coin the rest the average score was a d minus or something when you appoint incompetent people in office you don't expect any exemplary work number 2 he was awarding political loyalists somebody like Ezekiel Machogu i think contested for a gubernatorial uh, seat in 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 Kisi on an ANC ticket and i think Mdavadi presented him so it was not done on on looking at the capabilities of 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 a person into such sensitive dockets they were political appointees and and rewarding political fillers which is very wrong even if you want to reward even if you want to do what we call ethnic balancing look for competent people otherwise we are degenerating very fast and you know what will that what this mean when you award students higher marks for the lower grades that have, they have gotten a student who is not supposed to get into a national school will go there and it will be hell for him and if this will escalate to high school then it means that people will be going to universities and get to courses that they cannot manage take for example if you award a student maybe a c student you award him an a, a, a grade a plane then he goes and applies to do medicine that is how we will have fake doctors fake engineers those are the people who will be in charge of construction of bridges that will be collapsing and killing people in charge of 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 of, of uh, buildings that will be killing people those are the doctors who will be conducting operations and messing up with the lives of our of 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 innocent citizens and it starts with such mischief and i know this is happening because of corruption that the administration cannot deal with because there is no political goodwill the rot has started from the top and it is escalating down so there is incompetence there is political appointment and then there is corruption and this is not only happening in 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 the education sector but in the entire docket the leader there was saying something that is very sad that head teachers are now using credit facilities for lisa to help run the education sector how and then they are given some 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 targets and then bado wanaambiwa wakisha wakota pesa zingine ziende kwa ministry how and and the minister himself the cs does not even know that there was some money that was meant for capitation v he doesn't know where that went i mean what is wrong with us because we are killing the education center and once you kill that sector then entire nation is 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 killed william ruto is running around that is looking for jobs for our for for our citizens very soon 
Kenyan graduates will be less competitive compared to our neighboring countries. Today, Tanzania, Tanzania has surpassed us. Kenya was, was, was the beehive, was, was, was the, what, what I would call the heartbeat of the entire, entire East Africa in terms of economic activities. But I certainly believe that Tanzanians will, will pass or they, if they have, they have either surpassed us or they are doing that already. Because of corruption, the, the, the landlocked countries in East Africa are abandoning the Kenyan oil market and they are looking for other alternatives. And we have a president that sits pretty. And when you see the Kenya Kwanza bloggers, when you see leaders, they still have the audacity and blame the, 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 the previous regime. I mean, how will they now bring, blame the previous regime on this? It is very sad. We have an, a government that is so much disorganized. Speaking from all both sides of the mouth. There is no El Nino, there is El Nino. I mean, what is happening? And this is very sad because we are placing the lives of our young ones in jeopardy. So there is a crisis meeting. We have a government that is proactive, not react that is reactive, not proactive. Today, there is, I think, a commission that will also be formed to help the El Nino thing. Murkomen was saying that he wanted to form a commission of inquiry to find out why the airport roofs were leaking. What is wrong with the government? And they are gobbling taxpayers' money. I dare say that a government that is being led by a person with a doctorate degree, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, cannot play with education. One would even doubt the credibility of, 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 of and the authenticity of that, the degree that he has. The other time it was Johnson Sakaja being questioned about his degree. At one point it was thought that he had a degree from the University of Nairobi, then all of a sudden an online degree. And ladies and gentlemen, this whole system is rotten. It will soon escalate, not even soon escalating, the, the health uh, sector is bad. There are no facilities in the hospitals. And doctors are selling, you know, government, the, 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 the tablets that are labeled government of Kenya, GOK, the medicine, and they are selling in their private, you know, facilities, their hostels. Conflict of interest is the order of the day. There is any office that is safe, ladies and gentlemen. And you still think you have a country? I will leave you with one question that I've always been asking. Where do you see Kenya in the next four years? Before 2027? It is very sad.